As we realised uh, when we got uh, nearly 20,000 people looking for 200 tickets to see us tonight, uh, when I say <laughs> by, by us I mean you, um, we realised obviously how popular we were and the, uh, how you probably remain to be. What's the story with your fans? You have a close affinity with them, they're loyal. Yeah. They're loyal as hell. Absolutely. Loyal. I, think, I think the last year, we've been talking about it earlier, but we feel like the last year was probably the best year of Westlife. Full stop, you know, yeah. and I think that was because of the reaction from the fans and from everybody. Just honestly, the, the tickets, Crow Park, yes. the album going number one today, by the way. Thank you yeah, very much, everybody. Thank you. Um, you know, it's all good. It's just, it's been an incredible year, and you know, to get to play Wembley Stadium, Parky Creeve next year, it's, it's just, it's just getting it's better good. and better. It's you amazing. know, Ryan, 20, 20 years has been, you know, of West has been a long time. I think we did 14 great years with all these guys, and yeah. I think during the tours this year, I think when we, especially in Croke Park, we relived our youth, and, yeah. and I think everybody, I think that was the night, and a lot of lads that came along, you know, I think most of the girls that, you know, support us now are married or, you know, have, have husbands or boyfriends or whatever, or girlfriends, uh, and everyone came along that. to the show, it was a real yeah. party atmosphere, yeah. and, and for us too. No, it's great, because there's one girl there with the placard saying, Nikki, please be my uptown girl, and going, I know, but what part of Georgina do you not understand? <laughs> But, but I admire your ambition. Where, where, where's Lucy Kirkwood? Uh, Lucy, who did you propose to exactly? Well, I didn't actually get to propose to Mark. What happened? I <laughs> I can't even feel it now. I just couldn't stop crying. I was so excited when I got told I was. Was this in be... Belfast? Yes. And you wore a wedding dress. The wedding dress. That's you. That's you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What happened? What happened? No, oh, there's me. That picture haunts me. Take it. Take um, a breath. What the hell happened? <laughs> Um, well, I had the dress for a Halloween costume, and then like a week later, Westlife announced they were coming to Belfast to do a signing, and there was like thousands of people. So I was like, right, I need to do something to get noticed. So, <laughs> stuck the wedding dress on, camped out overnight, and the guys heard that. Well, Lucy, that out. story has been told by us yeah. a million times. That's really. Yeah. 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 Your march is here. The unfortunate thing for Lucy was proposing to Mark. She was backing up the wrong tree. She <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's true. true. You have to give the wedding dress back. But you got a photo with Mark anyway. Well, it's a terrible photo. Like, I would love to get another photo because I've, like, I've met oh, the guys a couple of times and I've never got a decent picture with them. Go for it. Okay. Where's Edmund Ryan? Yes, sir. Edmund, you've, a, you've got a slow set story for me? I do, Ryan, yeah. Tell um, me everything. Ryan, you're putting me in a bit of an awkward position here now. Um, oh, even better. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Um, yeah, I guess I was 14 years of age and... Um, I was at my first underage disco, and um, all the boys were on one side of the hall, and the girls were on the other side of the hall. Yeah. And it was kind of an awkward moment because there was a girl there from school that had a massive crush on, and I was like, "Will I? Won't I?" And the next thing, like flying without wings, came on, and the boys gave me a little bit of oomph I needed. Like, <laughs> yeah. off, off I went. It flew it, across. Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> it felt like it anyway. Yeah. And so. you went off, and did you get the slow set? I got the slow set. Did you get, yeah. did you get the shift? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. got the shift. You got the shift. He didn't marry you, though, no? Thanks, Sorry, who's that beside you? Yeah. This is my beautiful girlfriend. Dude, she wants to use the shift from 1947. No, thanks, thanks, Ryan. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hence the awkward thanks. position yeah. at the start. You are, are you? Are you? Are you? Anyway, let's just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to kill him later on. I'll just take a first dance, you know, flying without me. Uh, Sinead Doyle is here, and uh, where is she? I, I don't say. There you are. Hi, Sinead. Hi. The, the, these boys and their music is very important to you yeah. for, 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 for reasons of the heart, isn't that yeah. right? Can you tell us why? Yeah, I have a favourite song, um, I'll See You Again. Oh, yeah. And, and why do you pick that, that song, Sinead? Um, well, I heard it a few years ago, didn't really pay much. Like, it was a nice song, um, and I'm a huge fan, like, years and years, but. Um, our son died four years ago, oh, and um, what was his name? Connor. And how he was old? born sleeping at 38 weeks. He was weeks. born asleep. Okay. Yeah, ten pounder. Um, okay. So that was four years ago. But about kind of a year ago, I was out walking, brisk walking, and I have the playlist, all the albums, and it came on. And people used to say to me, "Oh, there's a feather. That must be Connor." And you know, when you lose someone, you kind of get angry and you go, "Yeah, whatever." Yeah, like, sure. I heard the song again, and I hadn't heard it in a long time. And it just gave me peace. Yeah. I just, and I'm not what, being dramatic. Come, come, I'm not up, come being up and say hello to the boys. Come, come up and say hello. That's a nice story. 
Come back, that is a beautiful story. I'm not kidding. That is a lovely story. That's a brave thing to do. Beautiful Say hello. Story. So, you know, it's amazing the power of music, isn't it? That it can do that. That it can do that. Bring that song to you. I know your face. I know your face. Cardboard cutout. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That was ten years ago. Forty next year. I want to free tickets. Don't leave me out. Cardboard cutout. Shane, do you have a cardboard cutout? Oh Shane. Oh Shane. A cardboard cutout. It looks like this. Before you go, before you go, tell me. I've come over this side. Do you do, do you have children? I do. As I well have a Connor? five-year-old. Connor would have been four in August. Yeah. I have a two-year-old and a one-year-old. Give them. Give me their names. I have Liam. Yeah. Connor, Maria, and Megan. And Connor's memory lives Connor's, long. Yes. Well, yeah. listen. Thanks for coming yes, and sharing yeah. your story. We're thinking. And forty you. next year, I'd like a free ticket to Cork. Yeah. Never missing a trip. Never missing a trip. Thank you. Absolutely. Nice story. Okay. Did we mention we're playing in Cork next year? <laughs> Are you playing in Cork next year? You're giving free tickets yeah. to Sinead? That's wonderful. Yeah. That means Do you know what, Ryan? Ryan look, we're playing Cork for two nights, but we want to say that it's our only stadium show in Ireland. In Ireland. On this tour mm. next year. Okay, so... People question. are saying that why aren't we doing other cities and stuff like that. We just picked... Because we did Crow Park, we said, you know what? Yeah. We're going to go to Cork Nothing this year. Nothing wrong with Cork, lads. It's going to be an event. And, you know and it's going to be a great weekend. Listen, it's, been, it's been great to have you on the show tonight. Don't be strangers, you know. And uh, happy Christmas to you and all your families. Same to you. I have a feeling that things are just going to keep getting better and better. Thank will, you. Will you give us one last song before you go? Will okay, indeed. why don't you head over to the... Uh, Absolutely. Uh, Cheers, guys. Take the microphones. I'll go back over here. Yeah, I'll go back over here. Okay. Rest Live prepared to sing for us once more. And... What I want to say is thank you to all our fans for talking, but particularly to Sinead for your lovely story. Thank you very much for that. It was really thoughtful. And we appreciate that. Thank you. Okay.